The trial will go before the jury tomorrow. Prosecutors believe that Thompson's former business partner, Michael Goodwin, hired hitmen to kill the couple. So Goodwin spoke out today. We'll see as Heather Sullivan joins us now with more on this. Heather. Hi, Leslie. Well, this is a very complex case. I'll try and make it simple. What we have here is Michael Goodwin was business partners with Mickey Thompson. Many years ago, they had a stadium motocross business together. And when the two parted ways, Thompson sued and won a lawsuit settlement against Goodwin for $500,000. Well, shortly thereafter, Goodwin filed for bankruptcy. And now prosecutors believe that Goodwin hired hitmen to kill Thompson and his wife in their uh, home. But Goodwin came forward today with his attorney saying that they don't believe the prosecutors have any evidence to support that and that the district attorney is disregarding statements from witnesses that they say can exonerate him. Absolutely never threatened him in any manner whatsoever. We believe the reason it has been convened is because of a political connection and relationship between Colleen Campbell, uh, Mickey Thompson's sister, and Tony Rakakis, the Orange County District Attorney's Office. Now, we contacted Colleen Campbell today. She did not want to comment on this case, but she did issue this statement saying that she feels the investigation is very important and that she doesn't want to do anything that might jeopardize that. In the meantime, the grand jury is set to convene on this case beginning tomorrow. They'll start hearing testimony. They expect that to last about two months before they finally reach a decision as to whether to indict Michael Goodwin for the 1988 murders of Mickey Thompson and his wife. In Santa Ana, I'm Heather Sullivan for OCM. We'll send things back to you, Leslie. Okay, thanks so much, Heather, for that. Well, the son of a private school principal. Handle an L.A. County case. Goodwin's lawyer believes it's a move by Orange County D.A. Tony Rakakis to pay back favors to former San Juan Capistrano Mayor Colleen Campbell, a political ally who is Mickey Thompson's sister. Our viewpoint is there's a script that's already been written to indict Michael Goodwin. And the reason we believe that is a number of witnesses who have been interviewed by Mike Lellenfield, who's the primary investigator and L.A. County investigator, uh, have called us and complained vehemently about his method of interrogation, his threats, and his patent false statements made about what they said to him. Goodwin's lawyer says there is plenty of evidence, including this interview with a witness to clear Goodwin's name. Glenn Baumgartner told police Mickey Thompson received death threats from people he referred to as punks and that Thompson specifically stated he had no fear of then-partner Michael Goodwin. For more than a decade, Goodwin believes he's been the victim of a character assassination by law enforcement, and that is now continuing with the Orange County Grand Jury investigation. The grand jury looking into the Thompson case is expected to convene tomorrow, and that report was from Michelle Geely. A victory in court today for an Anaheim mother accused of a double murder. Life. For years, he's been living with a shadow of guilt, and tonight, he's again denying he had anything to do with those crimes, saying investigators are simply trying to set him up. Good evening, everybody. It's now 5 o'clock, and I'm Paul Moyer. And I'm Colleen Williams. We begin at 5 o'clock tonight with the unsolved killings of Mickey Thompson and his wife. They were murdered back in 1988, but the investigation has been reopened. Longtime suspect Michael Goodwin is set to appear before a grand jury next month. But tonight, he is going on the offensive by releasing his own evidence. Channel 4's Kent Schockmix in our newsroom tonight. He picks a story up from there. Kent. One of Southern California's most infamous unsolved murders changed direction today. All this time, we have heard from the officials trying to pin the blame on one person. Well, today, that one person, that prime suspect, fired back. I had nothing to do with it. I had no involvement whatsoever. Mike Goodwin makes his case in the court of public opinion as an Orange County grand jury gets ready to decide his fate for real. Goodwin is investigator's prime suspect in the murder of racing impresario Mickey Thompson and his wife Trudy. That was 1988. The two were gunned down in front of their expensive Bradbury Estates home. Police say Goodwin pulled the strings on their murder for hire. For a dozen years, that's how the story's been reported and recorded. Anybody who objectively reads this would conclude that Michael Goodwin is not a suspect. He committed the murders. The mornings of the homicides, I happened to be at a gym working out. My attorney that was just mentioned, Ron Colon, called me, asked me to come to his office immediately. Did not tell me what it was about. 
Goodwin's lawyers have released videos of witness testimony they say could help Goodwin, and they accuse the Orange County DA's office of ignoring such information when it doesn't suit the prosecution. Goodwin lost a half-million-dollar legal battle with one-time partner Thompson. After the murders, he moved. Detectives say fled to the Caribbean to live on a boat. Today, he walks with a cane following back surgery. His hardest walk may be into the grand jury itself, where he may take the Fifth Amendment and say nothing. There's an angry he said, he said going on between Goodwin and the DO over the extent of his cooperation. In fact, Goodwin's legal team says it's wrong even to have this case in Orange County in the first place, so it is fighting that. The grand jury is in for a hard-fought case. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Ken Shocknick. Now back to you in the studio. All right, Ken, thank you. We have breaking news to tell you about right now. Captain Bob Petty over the scene with the latest. Captain Bob? Uh, you're looking at the police academy shooting range here in Elysian Park. Apparently, according to the Los Angeles City Fire Department, someone apparently has been shot. And Keeping quiet. Nothing to do with it. I have no involvement whatsoever. Michael Goodwin has been saying just that ever since world-renowned racing promoter Mickey Thompson and his wife were gunned down 13 years ago. The only thing I know about this case is what I've read and seen after the case occurred. But Goodwin and Thompson were once business partners. They had a bitter falling out. And five days after Thompson and his wife Trudy were gunned down in front of their Bradbury Estates home, not far from Santa Anita Racetrack, Goodwin's name was linked as a possible suspect, in Goodwin's opinion, for no reason at all. There's no real no. reason. There's things that have been fabricated. Thirteen years after the fact, investigators agree on one thing. This was a professional hit. Thompson and his wife had money and jewelry on them. It wasn't touched. And two men, African Americans, were seen leaving the area on bicycles. They've never been found. Well, there's no DNA evidence. But investigators say they do have newly found DNA evidence that links Goodwin to the crime. Thus, a grand jury has been convened. The 23-member grand jury will meet behind this closed door. Everything that is said remains top secret until the grand jury reaches a verdict. Rarely, if ever, has an Orange County DA asked for an indictment from the grand jury and not get one. I am concerned about anything. They will make up evidence. That's a pretty strong charge. Of course, there would not be any e evidence uh, fabricated. Goodwin's attorneys also claim this grand jury hearing is nothing more than a political favor for Rakakis. He and Thompson's sister, Colleen Campbell, one-time mayor of San Juan Capistrano, have been close political case. allies for years. It has to do with a horrible crime, a terrible murder. And why would Goodwin, 13 years after the fact, talk now? I wish I wouldn't have needed to, but I think it's time. Again, Goodwin has never been formally charged, never arrested in this uh, crime, although his name has been linked for nearly 13 years to this. He will be called in front of that grand jury on April 23rd, and today his attorney said he has not yet decided whether to answer questions that day or take the fifth. Reporting live from outside the courthouse in Santa Ana, Dave Lopez, CBS 2 News. Dave, thanks for the live update. An undercover drug investigation at two Palm Springs area high schools. Murray is investigating the victim's business partner. We're live. Then endangered pelicans showing up with broken wings and others. Yep. Now a grand jury is reopening the case and taking a look at the victim's former business partner. And we are live. And then they are literally everywhere. Compact parking spaces. So who fits in them anyway? We have details on a plan to get you more space. And and new information about a possible new Southland city. Could the valley sustain itself as a city? We'll talk about that when we come back soon. Soto, Laura Diaz, Johnny Mountain, and Bill Weir as Eyewitness News continues. A racing legend and his wife gunned down more than a decade ago. Now new evidence comes to light. But will it bring a killer to justice or destroy the reputation of an innocent man? Hello, I'm Kathy Vara, in for Laura Diaz. And I'm David Ono. It's a murder mystery that's haunted investigators for 13 long years. Well, now the prime suspect in the killings of Mickey Thompson and his wife will finally face a grand jury. Orange County Bureau Chief Jay Avila is live at the Santa Ana Courthouse with the story. Jay? David, Mickey Thompson was the first man to drive a car over 400 miles per hour. But the investigation into his murder has moved slowly, 13 years and no arrest. Now a grand jury will investigate the man detectives have suspected all along. After 13 years as the prime suspect, Michael Goodwin could finally be indicted by a grand jury for the 1988 ambush murder of racing legend Mickey Thompson and his wife Trudy, who were shot outside their home by two gunmen who rode away on bicycles. They left behind thousands of dollars worth of cash and jewelry the couple had on them. 
leading investigators to suspect murder for hire. I had nothing to do with it. I have no involvement whatsoever. Early on, investigators focused on Goodwin, a former business partner who had a legal dispute with Thompson just before the murders and had been ordered to pay the racing promoter a half million dollar judgment. But there was never enough evidence to arrest Goodwin, who claims he learned of the murders from his attorney. He asked me to come to his office. He did not tell me what it was. He just told me it was urgent. I recall exclaiming I was concerned about my wife. He said, no, that's not it. Asked me to come to his office. When I got to his office, he told me what had happened. For the past 12 years, he's been a target, continuing character assassination, defamation. Goodwin claims investigators have been coercing witnesses in order to frame him, and that the grand jury is only investigating because Mickey Thompson's sister, Colleen Campbell, the former mayor of San Juan Capistrano, is a close friend and political ally of Orange County District Attorney Tony Rakakis. Campbell spoke with us today, but said she could not discuss Goodwin's accusations. Somebody stole those very precious people from our life. I really hope that the truth will come out of this case and really hope there's justice done. It is unusual for an Orange County grand jury to look into an L.A. County murder, but the district attorney told us today that the L.A. County Sheriff's Department requested his assistance and there's nothing political about it. The grand jury will begin tomorrow by hearing testimony from Goodwin's ex-wife and Goodwin himself. Reporting live from Santa Ana, I'm Jay Avila, ABC7 Eyewitness News, Kathy Beck.